Hey Matt, my name is Michael. I'll be your sales associate here at Howdy Honda. Let's take a look at a CRV hybrid. You said you were interested in a CRV hybrid. I picked out a middle of the road. There's three trim levels the Sport, which comes with cloth seats, Sport L, and then Sport Touring. I picked out a Sport L. This is a black with black interior Sport L we got. The Sport L gives you these parking sensors in front. You get black wheels which are powder coated so they hide the dirt pretty well even when they're dirty they don't look too bad integrated turn signals on the mirrors you've got uh, blind spot protection on that side of the mirror keyless entry of course so you just put your hand on the handle you can tap there to lock it put your hand on the handle there and it'll unlock here's the sticker still on the window if you want to pause on that these things reliably get about 40 miles per the per gallon. It's pretty awesome. You get automatic up and down windows for all four windows on a Sport L. Electric controls of your side view mirrors and memory positions one and two for your seats. Come in, put your foot on the brake and press the start button. You'll see the car start up. A fully digital display with uh, that right-handed the speedometer needle is actually physical. So here you got your media controls. You can adjust different information to show up on this screen with this wheel here. So something I like to see is like my uh, fuel remaining. Where is that? Range and fuel. So you can see full tank gives you about 380 miles or so. You get a 12 inch, I believe it is, color media information screen. This also has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless charging, dual climate zones. You and your passenger can have different temperatures. You get a choice of four different drive modes between sport, normal, economy, and snow. Hill descent will keep you going the same speed as you go down a steep hill and then your electronic parking brake is right there. Just pull that to set it, put your foot on the brake and push it to turn it off. Brake hold is a cool feature. If you turn this on, you will stay stopped even when you let your foot off the brake if you're in drive. And then you got your shifter here. Drive is the standard drive mode, but B will give you additional, uh, makes you slow down faster, so it increases the regenerative braking. On the Sport L, you also have paddle shifters, so you can use these to adjust your, your uh, regenerative braking. If you do it right, you can get much better than 40 miles to the gallon if you use this instead of your brake foot. If you just basically downshift as far back as you can whenever you need to slow down. It's a game I like to play whenever I'm driving. And then you got USB-A and USB-C charging ports. If you plug into this one, it'll feed data through, or no, yeah, this one will feed data through and display Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on your screen. That's helpful if you have an older phone. And then, your typical cigarette lighter here. The, this black Sport L comes with black leather with red stitching, which looks pretty cool. And then the seats in this one are laid flat. You can see you got a ton of room back here. You can adjust, also adjust the recline level on these seats. I'll demo that for you. <clears throat> So yeah, you fold the seats up and then you can adjust the recline level here for your rear passengers. One last feature that's new-ish on Hondas is they're all coming with capless gas tanks. So you just pop this open, stick the nozzle in there and fill up and then close it. You're good to go. This locks whenever the car is locked, which is nice. And on the Sport L, I believe you get, yes, you get an automatic powered lift gate. And then you can adjust the height that this opens up to if you've got a shorter lady or man in your life, then you can adjust this to open up at a lower height.